Every Sunday at Concordia's People's Potato, the Burrito Project is underway in full force. Volunteers from around the school and the community tie up their aprons and hit the kitchen to make roughly 250 burritos that are then delivered to homeless people around Montreal. Burrito Project is a grassroots organization. We make around 500 burritos a week. We sell about 200 to 250 to fund the project and then make another 250 to 300 burritos that we'll deliver to people who are homeless or hungry and living in the streets. People also see our burritos at UCAM, where we sell them, and they'll like come from there. Um, we also sell them at Frigaver, at Snacks Cafe on Miguel, um, Cafe St. Henry, and we also sell them for special events around, mostly like university events. A lot of people are willing to help out in the kitchen, but there can always be more people for delivery, especially in the winter months. Um, the kitchen at some point can get crowded. And the first is probably word of mouth. People who actually come here and then bring friends or keep coming back. That's usually the most common. Um, surprisingly, our second most common, which is Craigslist. We started posting the Craigslist volunteer section, and that's proven to be by far our like biggest turnout. Anyone can come. I mean, a lot of people are also like, as our Facebook page grows, there's more people that see it on Facebook. It's great. It's like people that are new to the city or just want to like, you know, do something different. People bring their kids. Some people bring their parents, um, and, it, and it makes it for a very diverse environment that's not just university students that kind of have like, you know, as diverse as that can be, it's still a very similar background. We want people to come back who, and, and kind of just like take initiative and help out when we have a lot of volunteers like today, um, so that we kind of have an extra hand in managing all these people. For me, delivery is by far the most fun. Because that's like, I mean, the kitchen is cool because you get to meet a lot of people and just um, hang out. I feel like on my end, it tends to be a little more hectic though, because it's like, again, doing some of the behind the scenes work, which might mean, you know, just spicing and stirring a 90 liter pot of beans. Whereas, like, going out on the streets and meeting people and being like, hey, what's up? Like, you know, hearing crazy stories, like, people are pretty happy to get the burritos. For me also, I think that delivery is the best part. It's like connecting with people that you wouldn't connect. Um, hearing the stories, it's, it's when you actually have time to like stop and talk to someone and they'll tell you how they end up there. Like actually, not that long ago, we ran into someone at um, a brewery mission that had been here volunteering before and was like had this crazy, you know, series of life events that brought him to not have home anymore and he was there and he was like hey you guys like this is crazy thank you so much for this burrito like I really need it now and like just I don't know seeing the cycle is, is really interesting and it's good to be able to, to help. A free burrito can fill up a stomach for the night but for some the simple act and exchange of communication does even more. Skyler, Julia, and the volunteers at the People's Potato are making a difference one burrito at a time, helping the ones living out on the streets all year round. 